the silent mode. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker, the Honorable Minister of Railways, Communications, Electronics and Information Technology, Sri Ashwini Vaishnav. He will deliver his vision statement through an insightful presentation that will map the way Bharat will connect in the next decade. Ladies and gentlemen, the engineer of the quantum leap, Sri Ashwini Vaishnav. Okay, here we go. Are we going to have this on this one also? Same thing on both screens or? Okay, one only, perfect. Great, so I'll speak for about 15 minutes. We'll go through very rapidly, uh, through a very quick, uh, basically trying to understand where the tech landscape is today and what we are thinking. That's what we discuss in the next 15 minutes. Friends, you are all aware of the India stack. You are all aware of how our Prime Minister has democratized technology by creating a structure in a public-private partnership where the big tech and the startups large enterprises and the small entrepreneurs, the rich and the haves and the low income and the have-nots, they all have access to the same level of technology that we should all aspire for. That kind of inclusive thing was possible because of the India stack and this stack is growing day by day. I'll come to the conceptual point how this concept was created. We have seen in many countries, some big tech companies, they monopolize technology. We have also seen another geography where the government does everything. This is a very unique case in India because of our Prime Minister's clear thinking process that neither should we leave our destiny in the hands of a few big tech, nor should government be present everywhere. We should try to create a public-private partnership. So this example you have seen in multiple things, multiple times, but I want to explain the thought process behind it. This platform of UPI has been created by public investment through a public company. To this, join the banks, digital identity, about 50 million merchants, hundreds and thousands of startups, e-commerce companies, enterprises, and about 43 crore people, 437 million users today have already joined it. You see the structure, in this structure, anybody can start a payment company today. You want to start a payment company, you can start it today. Because of this structure, the cost of a transaction has come down from about $10 to a few cents. 800-900 rupees se kuch ek do rupee pe cost of transaction has come down. And that has made possible a whole lot of services, whole lot of uh, new innovations which were unthinkable in the uh, past. And the spread is amazing. Everywhere, wherever you see the technology, the use of digital India stack, the DPI is today practically every part of the country. Now I'll come to a point how this combination, how this Digital India stack is today providing multiple solutions. I'll come to the digital credit. Now digital credit, okay, so when you want to give a credit to somebody, what do you need? You basically need three fundamental things. One, whether the person can repay, what is the repaying capacity? Two, what are the documents that need to be checked? Three, whether the person is actually the person you are talking to, right? Identity. So when we look at this, you look at the right hand side of this. Payment history, the cash flow, transactions, that becomes the collateral if you don't have any other collateral, right? Somebody who doesn't have a property or some gold to put as collateral in loan can today create using the UPI a cash flow history, payment history, that becomes the collateral. Use Aadhaar structure for getting the identity verified, totally digital. All document verification can be done on DigiLocker, right? All the three things which are needed, 
whether whether a person can pay back or not whether the person is exactly the person you are talking to whether the documents can be checked or not now comes the account aggregator structure in between so on this side is the people who can give credit the loan and on this side are the people who need a loan right a small uh, micro enterprise on the streets of uh, a city right chai banane wala ye कैसे दिखता मास्टर का एक लगेगा फोटो वैसा ही यहाँ पे यू कैन सी वेरी क्लियरली देर आर सो मेनी मल्टीपल क्यू आर कोड पेटीएम का भी फोन पे का भी भीम का भी सबका दैट्स दी पावर राइट सो दी अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर बेसिकली इंटरमीडिएट बिटवीन दी पीपल हु नीड लोन एंड दी पीपल हु कैन प्रोवाइड लोन एंड दी फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर इज वॉट इज दी पेमेंट हिस्ट्री सो यूपीआई गिव्स दैट verification is on, done online and in a very very privacy protected method people who need 10 dollar loan for 3 days are today getting the same access to credit that a big industrialist would be needing 100 million dollar ka loan so today because of our prime minister's clear focus on democratizing technology the big industrialist and the small micro entrepreneur they are equal today that's the beauty of this structure and the world over people are looking at this as the most inclusive example of digital technology most inclusive example of digital technology i'll go to the next point which is our future which is where we need to really put our focus and make sure that our future is secure about semiconductors very interesting the world is today noticing this june 23 our prime minister signs the agreement with the us president for a company called micron to set up their plant in india june 20 just mark the dates mark the dates june 23 is when the agreement gets signed and the proposal gets approved September 23 is when the ground breaking happens how many days less than 100 days less than 100 days and wouldn't would you believe this is the level of construction in December 23 that's the pace at which prime minister modi ji's sankalp for vikasit bharat is working on ground right this is real data real pictures on ground complete plant close to 5000 people are working to construct it at a rapid pace torrid pace and today people are giving examples of many other geographies announcement is okay mm, after 2 years 3 years maybe somewhere the construction will start no not in india and in india announcement happens within 100 days construction also starts <clears throat> i'll talk a little bit about chip designing chip architecture the whole value chain how our prime minister has given us a clear mandate that don't look at simply setting up a fab don't look at simply setting up a plant think of the entire value chain and think of a 20 year road map then only we'll be able to do justice to our country's talent and to our future we have close to 3 lakh design engineers so building upon this manufacturing is the next logical way so i'll talk a little bit about how chips are made so this is sand right this sand is molten to make silicon ingots this is a ingot this will be cut to make wafers right वैसे आलू से सोना बनाने वाले कुछ लोग हैं on this on this wafer you basically apply multiple layers of photoresistors and metals and try to create a structure where exactly what you want to publish gets published right exactly what you print gets print or printed on and it's a very very fine work um it really requires very very significant precision ye nakhun ki nok hai 
इसका एक लाख गुना फाइन काम इसमें होता है सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स वेन अ वेफर कम्स देन यू सॉर्ट इट आउट यू पिक आउट यू पिक द स्मॉल लिटिल डाई आउट ऑफ इट देन यू मेक द चिप using that die that's the complete value chain and that goes into multiple things practically everything that we use right this becomes the circuit which goes into chips which goes into practically everything that we manufacture now our focus is our prime minister's clear vision is we must create this entire value chain in india we should not leave ourselves vulnerable to any supply chain shocks in future so from getting the ingot done from getting the wafer manufactured to getting the wafer fab done to getting the entire operation in a proper mechanism and getting the final chip done we are working on practically every aspect of this value chain right and today because of the recent approvals uh, by prime minister modi ji today we have the complete value chain from chip design to chip fabrication to getting the atmp done so that it can be converted into a usable module which goes into practically everything right so when we look at this the design fab atmp below that we are looking at augmenting a talent pool we are a talent nation we are a nation which has practically designed every complex chip in the world but for somebody else now is the time when we should design our own products from being a back office from being a back office now we are transitioning to becoming a product nation from being a gcc we are now transitioning into having our own products our own ipr our own contribution to the world as one as complete chipset along with comes the entire supply ecosystem which is close to 16000 items go into making a chip i was looking at the periodic table science wale kon hai yahan pe quite a few right periodic table sare ke sare elements are used in this practically every element maybe some of them may be not used but every practically every other element is used in uh, chip making and this goes into everything that you see here requires a semiconductor right this guy would be needing something like 30000 chips right vande bharat this would be look, looking at something like 3000 or 4000 chips that's the magnitude of semiconductor requirement we are very fortunate to have a very visionary prime minister who has given us a clear mandate of using technology i gave these three examples today to share with you where we are today what we are thinking in the coming days in prime minister modi ji's third term india will <laughs> india will emerge as a major product nation as a major manufacturing hub and a major technology power thank you